Hello and welcome back to Officina Virtuale. I'm Ivano and today we're going to be continuing our beginner's guide. Today we're going to talk about uh, splines. So let's click on mechanical design and part design. Part one, let's click on OK. We can select our XY plane. For example, we can click on XY here or here. And let's click on sketch. Now we are in our 2D space. And today we're going to talk spline, clicking on spline, as you can see here. With our first click, second click and third click and so on, we can obtain our spline. I can select the line and with my, our line selected I can move the entire spline. But I can select the different point and moving this point I can shape the spline. To obtain an isoconstraint sketch, we need to fix the position of all the points of our spline. Okay, this is the idea. With double click, we can obtain this menu here and we can change our spline. For example, we can add a point. So, selecting a point, for example, point number three, we can add a point after, and that means I can click here, and this could be the next point. Selecting the third point, I can add point before. That means I can say this should be the point before, and then I've got the option to replace point with a point selected. I can change the position of this point. And OK. With double click, we've got always this menu, and we've got the options close spline. We can close our spline. And OK. Now let's sketch. This could be our first line, and we can fix the position of this line. Fix. OK. Uh, we can sketch the second line, this, and we can fix the position of this second line. Fix. OK. Now let's sketch a spline using this point as a start point, second point, third point, and end point. Ask or click on an icon, spline icon. Now, with double click, we've got another option tangency. I can click on tangency with our point selected, for example our first point, clicking on tangency, we've got this arrow here, that means this is the tangency, the orientation of our tangency, and we can impose, for example, a selecting this arrow and our line, we can impose to condition parallel, for example, okay? Or, with double click, we can select our latest point, and tangency and click on OK. We can select this arrow and this line and we can say this angle should be 30 degree. Or with double click we can select our second point and our third point and selecting the tangency condition, we can say this must be vertical, for example, and this must be horizontal to change the orientation. Okay. And with double click, we have got the other options remove point, for example, this or our third point, remove point. We can remove this point, for example, remove point, and so on. We've got these other options, reverse tangent. Okay, this is the idea. We can change the direction of our tangent, changing and shaping our spline as you can see here. And uh, then we've got the options curvature radius. 
selecting on this curvature as you can see we can change the shape changing this radius and okay but for now we will talk about curvature radius in uh, generative shape design okay i hope you enjoyed this video as always like share subscribe and so on see you soon